And now a federal investigation underway after a plane crashes in Slidell. The pilot's body was pulled from the wreckage today. Well, we just got this new aerial footage of the devastating crash. The pilot was killed in the crash yesterday afternoon. WDSU reporter Aubrey Killian is live at the municipal airport in Slidell to explain the new details coming in. Aubrey. Hey, so I've just confirmed the name of the pilot who was killed in this devastating, devastating crash. I'm told Gene Fendler. He was a well-known attorney in New Orleans and his body was sent to the coroner's office today. So take a look at this new video that we did get not that long ago. This is kind of a bird's eye view and shows the wreckage and the wrecked plane. The NTSB and the FAA is taking over this investigation. They will work to figure out what caused this terrifying and deadly crash that happened right here in Slidell. So the plane went down in a wooded area near the airport. Fendler, he was in an older model plane. He flew in from New Orleans yesterday. Now I'm told he picked up a passenger here in Slidell and flew around for a bit. Fendler landed and dropped his passenger off and went back up alone. He crashed not long after taking off. We spoke with Jim Blazik. He owned this plane with Fendler. It's indescribable. To see the, to see the amount of devastation of the plane and the how so thoroughly it was burned. Uh, I just can't describe it. It's devastating to all of us. I mean, we're like a like a family. Pilots are like a like a family together. So it's uh, it's one of the brothers lost. That's a, you know, it's what it is. So the airport suspects there may have been engine failure, but it is still too early to tell. They say. Reporting live in Slidell, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News. Aubrey, thank you.